Hello there. Um, welcome to Black Tree Studios in Worcestershire. Um, today I'm going to do a um, small tutorial uh, which is for the um, Behringer X-Live interface card or um, some people might have it now on a Midas M32 Live desk. Uh, it's basically the interface that goes in the back of your desk and allows you to record up to 32 tracks um, of audio for th about three hours. Um, and you can pretty much play back on the desk if you want and mix it on the desk or you can import it into your door. Um, there seems to be quite a few people putting tutorials up that import into Reaper and possibly Logic uh, but I haven't seen anybody yet do one for Pro Tools so this one is for Pro Tools. Okay, let's do it. I have already imported from the SD card onto my desktop. I've only had one session with one bit of data, so basically I've just duplicated this seven times, but that's, that's what it would look like if you used a whole card uh, or one card um, of data. So to import this into Pro Tools, first you need to open a Pro Tools session up and you need to allocate tracks. For this one we've got 16 tracks, so we're going to allocate 16 mono tracks, and that's that done there. Okay, the next thing to do is import the data from your card. So select audio, here's your data. So you can select as many as you want, you can select them one at a time or you can select them all together. Uh, what we'll do is we'll select uh, four of them just to save a little bit of time and also I would say when you import these don't add because it'll still read from your desktop when you're playing back. What you want to do is import it into your Pro Tools folder audio folder. So what you do is you put copy all and then open and import those into your Pro Tools audio file folder. Okay, so that's done. The next thing to do is uh, select clip you want to import this as a clip, not as a new track. You've already got your tracks down. So you click OK, and there they are on the right hand side. Now, I've had this card for quite a long time. I bought this card actually when it came out, um, pretty much like the, the week it came out. I, I was so kind of keen to get one. Um, and I kind of had, I found a few issues with importing it into Pro Tools. And what I used to do was this I would grab my first lot of audio and I would drag it onto the desktop and there it is. Now this takes a little bit of time now if you look at the uh, top here the manager status, task manager status, it's saying that it's in progress and it does again takes a little bit of time to get the image. I don't know if the audio actually plays or not. Uh, yeah it does. So yeah so the audio is there but you don't get the, uh, the visual image of it. So let's make that a little bit smaller. Now, this is where I went wrong and this is where hopefully you guys won't have to waste as much time as I did. And if some of you guys might already know about this and I just didn't see it for ages, but uh, here we go. So that's your first four gigabytes of data. There's your 16 tracks. What I did then, I dragged the second one in and I'd park it next to that one. Now the only problem with this is you, you want it to butt right up against, otherwise you're gonna have a gap, aren't you? So uh, I'd zoom in and zoom in and zoom in and take it again a bit closer and zoom in and zoom in and zoom in again. Now what I noticed is because I've got it on grid it's not going to line up doesn't matter how small your grid is it ain't going to line up. What I then started doing was I'd turn it into samples and when it's in samples and then make your sample one sample you can get it right on right on the money so that's what I started doing. And I was okay with that, and if I, that's as wide as I can go now with Pro Tools, I think. Uh, I know it's having a little bit of a think, yeah. That is, that's as wide as I can go, and there's no gap. So that was how I used to do it, and I used to think, this is so slow and laborious. So then I used to think, there's gotta be a better way of doing this, a quicker way, because this it, it did used to take forever. It still takes a fair amount of time with this card because it is data off an SD card and it does take a long time to import the Pro Tools. Plus you are importing 32 gigabytes of audio in one foul swoop. So, um, you know, it will take a little bit of time. 
So f then what I did was I decided to import uh, using shuffle mode and that solved all the problems. So now if I get number three and I'll just put my mouse anywhere, voila, straight in, straight into the right place, no gaps, nothing, and again, number four, straight in. So what I'm suggesting is if you import from an X32 card into Pro Tools, put it in shuffle mode, put your tracks in in advance, um, I've seen people in other software packages have got something called um, Explode, which is like you, you kind of import it with all the tracks on one track and then you explode it into the multi-tracks. Uh, I don't think Pro Tools has that feature. So this, this is the best way to do it and it is the quickest way to do it. And then that way you get um, and there you go. Okay, well, yeah, well, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, if anybody has any better ways of doing this into Pro Tools, um, please let me know because uh, um, there seems to be very little information online about how to import into uh, Pro Tools or any of the other doors, to be honest. I mean, there's no tutorials from Behringer or uh, Midas uh, to sort of say here, this is how you do it. So um, it's all left to us as usual. Um, if anyone sort of does know of any alternative ways uh, of importing into Pro Tools uh, any quicker than that version, then let me know. I would love to know. Um, but other than that, um, thank you. And uh, please subscribe and um, see you the next time. Thanks very much.